Yeah, so um, it's widely believed, right or wrong, that uh, once you become a member of parliament, you're corrupt and therefore your assets increase over time as you are a member of parliament. So uh, it's something that's not new, it's done around the world, lots of transparency in people who hold public office. Uh, so we thought, you know, at least a few of us, uh, even if it is not everybody, let's start and just make it public so that others can follow because uh, everything will not change from the top. You see, we talked about the political class, we talked about them safeguarding themselves, everything will not change from the top. And therefore, I think some things need to start changing from the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think Mr. Sumantiran has held cabinet position. And uh, I haven't held cabinet position either, though people think that I have, you see. So that's what I meant, that some things have to start from the bottom. Uh, Mr. Sumantiran, what No, when I entered so? parliament, you see, I was uh, appointed a national uh, list MP, just like uh, Mr. Vikram Martin in 2010. Uh, I read up the law and it said uh, you can't sit or vote in parliament unless you make the declaration, uh, as a declaration. And the national list MPs were declared one day and the parliament sat the next day, I think, because there was some delay in uh, holding some election in Kandy district uh, that year. Mm -hmm. So we had just one day uh, to, and uh, so I hurriedly prepared everything and waited and just as my declared ran and, you know, did all that because I thought I won't be able to sit in parliament you know, on the first day. Then to find that only 17 MPs in that parliament had actually made declarations. Mm -hmm. Submitted it to the, submitted the speaker. It, even yeah. submitted it. So then, I mean, it, it really shook me that uh, this was the case and everyone was. Uh, so from that day onwards, I sort of tried to get this moving. Uh, I got uh, Iran's, uh, I mean, he agreed with me, a few others agreed, but it took a few years before we uh, went out and did it. In fact, <coughs> uh, what Harini says is right, that, you know, the Transparency International, put, putting it on the website, uh, was much later. Uh, we tried to actually do it in Parliament, have a press conference and just release our, and I think uh, some JVP colleagues agreed to be with us initially when we, when we, when we uh, did that. Uh, but later when we went with transparency and did it, they had a problem with, uh, you know, an organization putting it on the website and so they didn't join. Uh, anyway, so that's another issue. Uh, the, 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 the reason is, also what Harini said, it's what they actually declare. You see, the fact that they declare is not the end of the issue. Mm -hmm. It must be before the people, for the people to be astonished by this declaration and say, what nonsense is this? We know he, they have uh, this house here, that one here, this one here. And, uh, you know, but why should the people do this? The Inland Revenue should have asked questions long ago. I mean, 20 odd year old MPs, right? merely because they are sons of presidents and prime minister uh, owning so much of property they don't do any job of work the inland revenue doesn't ask uh, a single question 